Vladimir Putin's $1.4 billion estate on the coast of the Black Sea is a modern-day Versailles. On the expansive grounds of the 170-acre property, you'll find two helipads, a hockey rink, a church, a tea house, greenhouse, and most impressively, a heavily guarded secret palace. Putin's palace is surrounded by a 20-foot-tall fence and miles of heavy forest. The estate is impossible to get into, and it's flanked by a secluded coastline and mountain range. Boats aren't even allowed anywhere near the coastline of Putin's property. You're about to go where few have gone before. Here's a look at Putin's lavish secret palace. Before we head inside Putin's 17,691 square meter palace, let's take a tour of the exterior grounds. Behind Putin's palace sits a stunning arboretum. As we pass through, you'll see $5 million worth of rare trees not native to Russia. Once you reach the end of the arboretum, you'll be standing in front of a sculpture garden with busts of famous Russian political figures. Oh, let's head west over to Putin's 2,500 square meter greenhouse. Inside the $4 million greenhouse, it's a bit much, you'll notice Putin's collection of exotic flowers and plants. Here's a shocking fact, Putin spends $2 million a year on a 40-person team of gardeners and landscapers. Okay, let's keep walking north and look at other buildings on Putin's property. You'll notice a striking Orthodox church and a tea house. Let's follow the access road that leads to Putin's helipads. There are two of them right beside a large grassy mound. You might think that's just a hill, but there's something incredible underneath. Grab your winter coat, because we're going to take a look inside Putin's khl size hockey rink. Hey, who knows, maybe we'll even spot him playing a game. As we continue to head north along the winding road, you'll see garages, a communication tower, staff buildings, a gas station, and the 20-foot-tall fence at the back of the property. Let's walk all the way back to Putin's mansion and go inside. The first thing you'll notice is how striking the mansion is. Those Roman-style columns really stand out. That large imperial eagle ornament on the wrought iron gate is solid gold. As we pass through the gate, we'll enter the courtyard garden. If you look around, you'll notice perfectly manicured hedges shaped like hearts. That's nice. The fountain in the middle of the courtyard exudes elegance, doesn't it? As we exit the courtyard and head inside, you'll see that the hallways are adorned with gold accents and eagle insignias. Let's swing open those large doors and look inside Putin's Anthenium room. The room is used as a meeting area. You'll notice that the roof is covered in Renaissance-style watercolor murals and that the walls are adorned with rare artwork in gold. Putin spent over $5 million to have the pieces commissioned. If you look up, you'll see two large crystal chandeliers worth about $200,000 each. Let's walk down the hallway and enter Putin's music room. Perhaps we'll catch a glimpse of him performing a sonata on his grand piano. Putin's gym is located on the opposite end of the first floor, and as we continue down the hallway, we'll pass by six bedrooms filled with luxury Italian furniture made by Pizzoli. Let's head through those massive swinging doors and look at Putin's dining room. You'll notice $500,000 of luxury Italian furniture and a $54,000 bar table. Let's keep walking down the hallway and head inside Putin's bar room. There is over $100,000 worth of rare spirits here. The doors at the end of the room lead to Putin's auditorium. As we head inside, you'll notice that it's actually two stories tall and expands into the upper level of the palace. As we head upstairs to the upper level of the palace, we'll enter Putin's master bedroom. If you look to the right, you'll see a $27,000 Pizzoli leather sofa and a $27,000 dressing table. There is an 8K TV hidden inside the cabinet at the base of Putin's canopy bed. As we exit the bedroom and continue down the hallway, you'll notice skylights on the roof that bring in a lot of natural light. This floor has four spare bedrooms, which are also filled with expensive Italian furniture. These doors lead to Putin's $10 million casino room, or as he likes to call it, the Hall of Entertaining. If you look over there, you'll notice the slot machines and poker table. At the far end of the room, you'll notice the craps table and roulette wheels. Last but not least is the Baccarat table. Chinese dignitaries that meet with Putin can't get enough Baccarat, just in case you were wondering. Let's head down the hallway into the hookah room. This room is filled with velvet furniture and at the center of the room, you'll notice a small center stage where dancers can put on a show for Putin and visiting dignitaries. Let's take the elevator down the basement. As we head to the west side of the basement, we'll enter a room that houses Putin's $10 million swimming pool. There's a spa area directly connected to this room that houses massage tables and a sauna. Let's head down the hallway into the Turkish bath. This is where Middle Eastern dignitaries visiting Putin can relax. Eh, something I don't want to picture. Further down the hallway is a room that houses plunge tubs. This is where Putin relaxes relaxes his muscles after playing hockey. Another thing I don't want to picture, as we continue towards the west side of the basement level,
level, we'll enter the Aqua Discotheque. This unique room is both a bathhouse and a bar room. Putin and his guests can enjoy a drink around the fountain. As we head to the east side of the basement level, we'll pass by staff rooms and storage rooms. Through these doors is the kitchen area where chefs prepare Putin's meals. The finest ingredients are flown in from all over Russia. As we head down to the hallway to the south side of the basement level, we'll enter Putin's cinema room where he enjoys watching classic movies. Right next door is the wine cellar and wine tasting room. It's filled with $1 million worth of rare wine. Follow me through the hidden passageway. Let's head through the underground tunnels and exit onto the beach. Did you know that Putin actually has eight official residences? The Grand Kremlin Palace underwent extensive renovations in the 1990s at a cost of $1 billion. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching.